after rate, pacemaker output is the second most likely setting you may need to adjust on a temporary pacemaker. It's labeled STEM on this pacemaker for stimulation. Output is the energy, or current, delivered through the wires to the myocardium, measured in milliampers. Capture is the term used when the electrical output from the pacemaker results in an action potential from the heart, in either a P wave or a QRS, depending on where it is pacing. If the energy is too low, non-capture can occur. When the pacemaker fires, but nothing happens in the heart. We obviously don't want that. So why don't we just turn the pacemaker to its highest setting to ensure capture? Temporary pacing wires go bad over time due to inflammation and fibrosis around the wires, especially if the patient is continuously pacing. Theoretically, at least, the higher the current delivered through the wires, the faster they will go bad. So we don't start at the highest output. To determine what to set the output at, we need to figure out the pacemaker threshold. Threshold is the minimum current that is needed to capture the myocardium. Threshold testing should be done daily if the patient is pacing because this number will change over time. To test the capture threshold in a pacing patient, slowly turn down the output while closely watching the monitor. When you see pacing spikes, but no following P wave or QRS, that is the threshold. Setting the pacemaker output right above the threshold probably isn't a good idea, as it doesn't give you a margin of safety should the pacer wires become less functional in the middle of the night. The rule I was taught was that output should be at least two times the threshold. However, when the wires are new, the threshold may be very low. So the lowest I ever set the output is five.